In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. I am going to uh, use this double angle formula. It's a cosine of 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1. My integral that I'm going to work out here is sine x cosine 2x dx. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to look at this cosine 2x, and I'm going to substitute my double angle formula for that. So then I'm going to have the integral of sine x times 2 cosine squared x minus 1 dx. All right, now from there, I am going to go ahead and distribute the sine x that is on the outside. So then I'm going to have the integral of, I'm going to pull that 2 out in front when I do it, 2 sine x cosine squared x minus the sine x and then dx. Okay, now from here, I'm going to then split this up into two individual integrals. And when I do that, on the one on the left, I'm going to go ahead and pull that 2 out in front. So um, let's leave a little room here. I'm going to pull the 2 integral sine x cosine squared x dx, and then minus the integral of sine x dx. So just taking that integral and writing them as two separate integrals. All right, now the one on the left is going to work out real nicely with a just a basic u substitution. So I'm going to let my u be cosine x, and then that means du is going to be a negative sine x dx. And if I go ahead and solve all the way down for dx, I'll have a du over a negative sine x for my dx. All right, and so doing this left-hand side here, um, let's have the 2 integral sine x. All right, now since I let u be cosine x, I'm going to have a times u squared right there. Replacing that dx, I'll have a du over a negative sine x. Finishing that out there, I'll have minus the integral of sine x dx. Okay, now that's going to allow me to then cross out my sine x's and take that negative and pull it out in front. So then I'm going to have a negative 2 integral u squared du. And then since this integral is a straightforward um, integral, then I'm just going to go ahead and work that out. So it'll be minus. The integral of sine x is going to be a minus cosine x. Okay, so those two minuses is going to allow me to do a plus right there. All right, and then this is going to integrate really easily here. Let's go ahead and see if I can get another step on here before we go up there. So I'll have a minus 2 times integrating this. Add 1 to that exponent. I'll have a 3. So that'll give me a 1 third u to the third right there. And then changing this to a plus, I'll have a plus cosine x. And at this point, I can go ahead and add the plus c. All right, let's come up here to finish the problem. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and multiply um, this out in front, and at the same time, go ahead and replace u with what I said it was going to be. So I'll have a negative two thirds. Replacing u, I'll have a cosine x raised to the third power, and then plus cosine x plus c. A lot of times people will want to put that three on the inside, that would be perfectly acceptable as well. So negative two thirds cosine to the third x plus cosine x plus c. All right, written either way, both of those answers are equivalent. All right, so uh, pretty much a straightforward integral. As soon as you get that initial double angle formula substitution, a little bit of arithmetic, and then just a basic u substitution on this integral. Uh, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.